Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk about how I plant my herbs. Most of my herbs get planted in an overseeding method, which really means I'm not putting in just one seed. I'm putting anywhere in any anywhere from you know five to twenty seeds. Let them all just germinate, and I basically make an herb plug so that I just pop out the plug. I put them into the next size cup that they go in, let them grow to a good size, and then I'll divide them in half sometimes into quarters and then I end up with four, two to four basic plugs that I can just put right into the ground. And let me just tell you what these are. And you can see some of the plants do better under 16 hours of light, eight hours off. They don't look leggy, they look healthy, they're doing pretty good. And then other plants just need really sunshine. So this is uh, savory. So it's kind of leggy. And when I go to plant it, I'll plant some of the stem. But what will happen is the leggy leaves or the leggy stems will just kind of flop over and they will start sending up more over time. So you don't really get harmed with savory. This is a chervil. Same thing. Let's see. In this case, that stem right here to here, that's legginess. It was, as soon as it came out of the ground, it was pushing towards the light. I'll just plant it this deep that stem will be perfectly fine. So these will go in like that. These are also getting very dry. You can tell the tops are light brown. They really need to be watered, but I'm going to transplant them today and then water them. And then we have parsley. Parsley does fine. You can have more seeds in one plug. This is a very hardy, strong rooted plant. So when it fills up this cup, I used to have to, um, well, we'll also have to do it this year cut right down the middle of it because the root systems get so are so strong. I have four kinds of basil. This is a spicy glow bush basil. I don't want to break and put them back in here. This is a cinnamon basil. This is celery leaf. I've not grown up before but it looks like it's doing all right. Chamomile, uh, lemon basil, your regular basil. And one plant that does really well to overseeding is thyme. And this is probably the one that gets closer to 20 of the really, really tiny seeds in there. It smells great, actually. I can smell it now. When I go to transplant them, we'll start with this. You can get a good amount of growth. This is really about the size you want to start feeding them, maybe a week earlier. And let me just see if I wrote the date on here. Yeah, these are planted on March 7th. Today's the March 29th, so they've been growing three weeks. Really after about two weeks worth of growth, you want to start feeding them with half strength liquid fertilizer. The purpling underside, perfectly normal. And this is really, really dry. In fact, I probably should have watered this a day or two ago. So the leaves aren't popping out as white because they're kind of dried out. Now, to transplant them, let's put that down. I just use basic styrofoam cup. You can use whatever you want. I don't pack in the soil. Just make a big fat circle, just like that. Pack it to the sides. Drop the plug in. Try not to bury any of it. I push it down, give it a tap, push it down again, spread it out. And you can already see how quickly it fills up the cup. You know, it's going from a small plug to something that looks like it's been growing in here for a while. This is going to get watered right away with a half strength fertilizer and it'll probably grow indoors at least another two weeks before I get it outside. Let me just do another one too. So the shareable, the one that has, let's find a good plant. Let's do this one. Again, these should have been watered a day or two ago, but same process. Gently take out the plug, separate it, and this is the legginess. You can see right there. I'm going to plant this plug to here. And the roots are a little bit better. If they're moist, these would all be nice and white and be popping out right now. So, same thing. Now, I use potting mix in here. You don't need to use seed starting mix. It's just kind of a waste of money. They're ready for a potting mix. Make the circle. Drop it in, press it, oh, it's not far enough. Sometimes it's hard to make the circle deep enough. 
but if you press it to the sides that works and then drop this down so I'm burying the leggy parts of the plant this needs a little more soil in there press it in again and those stems are now buried this will strengthen up down at the root base everything will be fine it won't be flopping around but again you can overseed your herbs five seeds up to 20 depending on the variety after about three weeks of growth put them right into the cups and you have a great start for really filling your garden up with herbs as soon as the frost is gone hope you enjoyed the video gives you some idea of how you can start a bunch of different herbs get them into cups please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my youtube videos thanks